my, 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 how the tables have turned, right? When you stay focused, when you stay on your mission, when you stay on your path, you prove your haters wrong. They crumble. You become a lot happier, a lot more energetic. You feel better all, all the way around and your haters feel worse. That is how it goes. There's like an energy shift that happens. When you prove your haters wrong. And I don't make the rules here, guys. I, I'm just reporting them. I don't make these rules. I'm not God. I don't make the rules. But... What I do know is that when you prove your haters wrong, the energy shifts. At first, they try to put you down. They try to make you feel bad. They try to make you feel uncomfortable. They try to make you feel stupid. They try to belittle you. Right? Right. But as you keep going on in life, stay persistent, you stay focused, you get sharper every way around the board. The energy then shifts. Your haters now fall because you rise. When you rise, they fall because you show them that you were right and they were wrong. You show them you're better than them. You just are. You live different lives. You can't tell me a person that goes to the gym all the time and eats right, trains hard, rather than a person that does not go to the gym, that does not eat right, is going to be the same. There's different lives, there's different realities. We are not equal. Nothing is equal. Some things are close to equal. Almost nothing in, in, in life is equal. Almost no human beings are equal. We all have differences. We all have weaknesses. We all have strengths. We all have everything. We all have our attributes. People have better eyesight than I have. I have better, better eyesight than some people have. I can play better. I can play sports, and more of them, better than a lot of people, and a lot of people can play sports better than me. I'm a lot fitter than most people in the world. There's people in the world that is fitter than me. People live different lives and realities. And basically what a hater does is they try to... They try to make you question your own reality. They try to make you question your own work ethic. They try to make you question your entire existence by gaslighting you, by trying to laugh at you to make you feel stupid, but whenever you prove them wrong, all you hear is crickets, silence. And uh, they don't have much to say after that because they can't say shit. Because what you done was legit. And they come to the realization that you actually succeeded. And they never. Your energy is pure. Your energy is good. You have lots of energy. You do lots of things in life. You're happy. And they are miserable because they did not live up to what they should have. But you did. Or you're on your way to doing it which is happiness as well. The whole journey, being on the right path is, is, is the best thing you could possibly do. Not being on it, refusing to ever get on it, is the worst mistake you'll ever make. That's what haters usually do. So they take the time and their energy to hate on other people like you. And as you deal with their bullshit for years, and you come in on top, it's that big energy shift. 
No matter what you do, a hater will always be a hater. A hater will always remain. They'll hate on you in the beginning. They will hate on you in the middle. And they will definitely hate you when you succeed. That's when they hate you the most. Don't think you're going to succeed and all of a sudden these people are on your side now. Because it's not going to happen. Not a real hater. You might have someone that doubted you to an extent, but never really did anything really abusive. They could have just doubted you, not really thought much of what you were doing. Who knows? He might do it, he might not. Uh, who knows? But then you do it, and then they're like, wow. That's normal. But, when someone is actually putting in the work, the time, into something big, and they're good at it, and you still hate on them, that is just stupidity. They're doing literally all the right things, and people can still hate on people like that and try to gaslight them into complete doubt. The reason they're doing that is because they're honestly scared of what you will become. Your haters are terrified. And it goes to show because you did prove them wrong. Now they just completely despise your existence. Because you make them feel every ounce of what they actually are. Scumbags. Don't be a scumbag and you won't be called a scumbag. What else can I say? Haters are scumbags. They just can't come to terms with the truth. I don't even care if you've never succeeded in your life or you have become the next Elon Musk. It comes down to your mindset. It comes down to your mentality. It comes down to can you handle the truth? Can you live in reality? Or do you just want to think what you want to think and view the world how you want to view it and this is how it is? But it's not. that's not, it's not even how it is. You just want to think that way to make yourself feel better. I don't trust people like that. I don't trust people like that at all. Things are what they are in this world. Everything what it is. Everything is what it is. I am what I am. You are what you are. We've done what we've done. Doesn't mean we can't do different things. We absolutely can. Even a hater can change his or her life completely around. It's the reality of the world. Minds are very powerful. I would not even completely write off or doubt a hater. Because people can do anything. Now, if they're eating cheese biscuits and donuts and the worst shit in the world, Cheetos, they're not going to the gym and they're telling me I'm going to be a world-class bodybuilder, of course I would doubt that. But, if you're doing all the right things and you're eating completely completely healthy the way you should and you're taking your workouts in the gym very seriously when you're doing the right things why why would you doubt some why would you doubt somebody like that they're they're on the right track now if they're not on the right track and they're doing all the wrong things and they say they're going to do this then of course you're going to doubt them but a hater will ga gaslight you and doubt you no matter what. You could be doing all the right things. You could be the reflection of perfection for, for, for whatever you're doing. And they will find a way to, to try to create doubt in your mind. To try to bring you down. Because you're actually doing the right things. Deep down they know that. They're just never going to tell you that. And they're just never going to tell you good job. Never. Because you make them feel miserable. Your mentality, your positivity, your ability to keep going on in life and just be happy just rattles them. Because they are absolutely miserable and they can do nothing but say miserable things to you. A hater is always miserable. You have to discard those people. You cannot listen to them. You cannot be around them. And unfortunately, I had some people in the past, past friends that end up being those kind of people. 
Some of them did not, some of them did. I believe the harder you work, the happier you will be. And the more you want to take vacations and do dumb shit and just think life is free and be a complete dickhead, you're not going to be very happy. Our ancestors are looking down on us all. Our ancestors that fought 10,000 years ago against saber-toothed fucking tigers. They're looking down on us. Are they proud of you or are they completely embarrassed and ashamed of your existence, of how you live your life and what you do? Because the truth is, they're very proud of some people and they're very ashamed of some people. Your ancestors fought tooth and nail against saber tooth tigers. While you sat at home, jacked off to Pornhub, and did the most outlandish shit. Smoke weed all day, snore coke all the time. And you wonder why you're not happy. Drink alcohol, party with your bros. Do you guys really believe anybody would be doing all that dumb shit if Saber 2 Tigers were still roaming around on Earth trying to kill us? There wouldn't be time for that. There would not be time for that. Or are you making a difference in this world? Or are you really putting in the work daily, mentally, physically? Doing God's work on your own, all while helping other people, doing all the right things. The question is, are your ancestors proud of you or not? If they're not now, you best better make them proud. I get it. You can mess up in life. You can do certain things you shouldn't be doing, but you have to wake up eventually. You have to wake up eventually and do what is right. Whether you want to or not. Whether you like it or not. You must do it. There's things some of us must do. And you must do what you know you have to do. Otherwise, you're fucked. Like I said, all I want to do is work. All I want to do is build houses. All I want to do is build fences. All I want to do is build things. Like I was all day. Already before I made this video outside in the sun in the heat building a massive addition on somebody's house me and one person so all it is all day and we go at it we listen to tunes we vibe we laugh we work hard we're efficient drink coffee shoot the shit what a lot of people in this modern day bimbo society will not do Oh, I don't want to work. Let's make life easy and let's do this and let's do that. I make a lot of money as it is. I don't have to work, but I choose to because I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Society is weak. Most people are weak. When can I get a break? When can I get a break? And you haven't even done nothing. I don't even want a break. I hate breaks. I hate taking time off of anything. I show up every single day in life. I don't take one day ever completely off. Let's celebrate. What? What? You want to celebrate? What have you done? Oh, you passed a class. Let's take a fucking week vacation in a completely different country. Congratulations. <laughs> I do not understand people's mindsets. Vacation here, vacation there. I need a vacation, I need a vacation. You're clearly not doing something right in your fucking life. Build a life you don't need a vacation from. That's a real boss OG shit. 
And I'm not saying never in your life take a vacation. Never in your life take a vacation. I'm not saying that. It's your mindset towards it. It's how much you do it. And did you even put in all the work to, to, to earn it? Did you build your life first? Most people that do that kind of shit all the time, they haven't even done nothing. Have not put in the time, have not put in the effort, have not suffered at all. Have not went through what they should have went through. But they do all those things first. Which then means you're never actually going to get to where you should have got to. You did not get to the place where God wanted you to get to. Because you think you deserve fucking golden marbles for no reason just because it's you stupid these people are not chosen by anything anything at all they are entitled they're not chosen they're entitled they don't live with a purpose they don't know why they're living the most important thing you will do is figure out why you're alive. And this is why there's so many haters in this world because so many people are that way, don't know why they're alive. And you're not spending any time trying to figure it out. Always distracting yourself, always doing this, always doing that, always messing with these people, always messing with those people. You don't even have real friends. You don't have real anything. You're not even real yourself. And it's okay to not know, maybe right now, why you're alive. But if that is the case, you should be spending all your time trying to fucking figure out why. Doing better. Doing what is right. Develop yourself. Work a little harder. Learn something new. Do something that's going to just shift. You don't just make some huge decision and all of a sudden your life changes. It does not work that way. It's slow. It's slow, it's slow, it's slow, but you gotta build, 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 build. By doing all the right things. You become sharper, you get new you get a new mindset, you get new ideas. This is how the world works. People think they, they deserve something huge when they're not even changing themselves. You're not getting any fitter, you're not getting any brighter, and you think there's something out there that's just gonna completely shit and change your life. You need to change yourself. That's how you change your life, by changing yourself. It's the only way. You want answers, you gotta find your own answers. You gotta figure it out. You gotta brainstorm. You gotta have a high IQ, you gotta be intelligent. Without that, you'll always be wondering. You'll always be wondering. And like I said, if you're wondering, keep working. Keep working, keep working. Don't stress out too much, keep working, keep working, keep working. Your time will come, your life will change. Show God. Show God the beauty of his creation. Don't be another hater, don't be another bitter, entitled little bitch hater. Show God how bad you want it. Do the right things, do what is necessary. That's what I suggest. Because if you don't do this, you will live your life in constant distraction. Getting around a whole bunch of people. Life is a party. Life is a parade. Let's just have fun while we're still here. Where's the sacrifice at, bro? The sacrifice comes first. Everything else comes after. The party comes after. I like the party too. I like to be extroverted too. I like to do wild crazy shit. But I'm not entitled. I'm gonna put in the work, I'm gonna put in the grind. Everything else comes last. My purpose, my calling, my mission comes absolutely first before anything or anybody. Everything else after. You put the most important things in your life first. Everything else comes after. Everything else comes after. You put everything else first and your purpose last. 
you're looking at a person that is constantly distracted. You're looking at a person that no longer has enough gas left in the tank to actually work efficiently on his purpose or her purpose. Because your mind is all over the place too much. You got to get centered first. Do the right things first. And then you make time for everything else. And this is just how it works. Trust me, I know. You can make mistakes, you can figure things out, you can, you can see things a certain way. And it's good to make mistakes because you have to learn from them. Sometimes you should do something you, you, you might not should do. Let's say you're doing all the right things. You do something you don't regularly do because it's not, it's not really the right thing to do, just in general. And you do it and you realize, wow, that's why I never do that. Because look what it did. It did me no good. Now you know. Learn quick lessons. So it's either going to come down to you to become the person that does it, or you're going to become the person that doesn't. You're going to become a hater. You're going to become salty. You're going to become entitled. And the people that do it will get the W. In like every asset of life. Be that kind of person. Be the go-getter. Be the well-wisher. Do not be the hater. Do not join that dark tribe. Join the tribe of the chosen. Join the tribe of the insanely driven. Not the other way around. Fuck out of there. And just do what's right. Show God the beauty of his creation.